The next day, over dessert, I was still not over the fact that my shoes had deserted me. These were new Manolos. I hadn't even done a full lap around the party. And you know, I don't play favorites with my shoes, but these were very special. Who would steal shoes from a party? Someone size seven with excellent taste. Why in hell did you take your shoes off to begin with? We had to for their kids. Apparently, we drag things in on our heels that make children sick. Please, it's children who drag the germs around. Brady got the chicken pox courtesy of some kid who licked him at the playground. Oh, my God. Kira must have been mortified. Actually, I kept waiting for the mortification that never came. She just said they might turn up and sent me home. Those shoes are not turning up anywhere but a pawn shop in Brooklyn. Oh, stop. I'm gonna cry in my flan. So that's it? They're just gone? Boo-hoo? Well, legally, she owes you for them. Oh, I can't ask her to pay for my shoes. Why not? If you gave a party and told her to leave her baby outside in the hall, and her baby was missing at the end of the night, believe me, there'd be payback. That is the craziest thing I've ever heard. Children are not shoes. I know, I know. I'm not saying it. You have every right to be upset about your shoes. I am so sick of these people with their children. I'm telling you, they're everywhere. Sitting next to me in first class, eating at the next table at John Sh hey, Look hey, at that. Right this place is for double cappuccinos, not double strollers. I'm sorry. Hey, no need to apologize. I wouldn't bring Brady here. Mommy needs two hands to eat her $8 cake. You're not gonna defend children? No, I don't like any children but my own. Look at that dirty little rug rug. That's just chocolate. All children are beautiful, but not as beautiful as Brady. That's true.